Hosea chapter 11 is a beautiful picture of the sort of father heart of God. As he's dealing with Israel that's divided into the northern and the southern, he shares his heart about the people of Israel. He says, when Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. Now, this is a, a dual kind of scripture here because God called his son Jesus out of Egypt when they had fled from Herod, but he also called his people Israel out of Egypt when they were in bondage. And he says, I loved him. As they called them, so they went from them, but they sacrificed to Baals. Over and over again, we see this constant thing with Israel. They, they love God, they follow him, and then their hearts are turned aside. But he said, I taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by their arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I drew them with gentle cords, with hands of love, and I was to them as those who take the yoke from their neck. I stooped and fed them. It's kind of a picture of a, a dad who teaches a child how to walk and, and, and feeds them and takes care of them. And, and God has this kind of heart towards his people. He says, at times when they didn't even know it, I was watching over them, I was serving them. And you think of yourself as, as a child, you know, you have no idea all the stuff your parents do for you. Till one day you grow up, you have your own kids, and you go, oh my gosh, my parents did all this for me. And he's saying, this is what I did for them. And yet they would walk away. And he's dealing now with the, uh, the northern kingdom, Ephraim. They shall come trembling like a bird from Egypt, like a dove from the land of Assyria, and I will let them dwell in their houses, says the Lord. Even though they continue to rebel, even though they don't appreciate all that God has done for them, his heart still loves them, and he's still gonna call them back, and he's still gonna renew and restore and continue to love Israel. In fact, it's true even till today. Israel's going through some major issues, but God has an amazing plan. He loves Israel, and he has always had them in the center of his plan, not because they're so special, not because they're so great. Obviously, over and over again in Scripture, they're not, but because God has a plan, and part of that plan includes the nation of Israel. And here in Hosea chapter 11, he shows his father heart for his people. And you know what? He has the same heart for all his people, for those who have come to know him through his son Jesus. God is a loving father, and he wants to lead you, he wants to guide you, he wants to feed you, and he wants to bring you one day into his kingdom forever and ever. Mm -hmm.